Hey guys, and welcome to the video, and I hope that you are feeling awesome. All right, guys, on today's adventure, we are venturing to where there used to be houses. Now, if you recall in a previous adventure video, I did the entire length of a road called the Marcus's Drive, right? However, guys, when I got back home, I showed Yvonne all the evidence and stuff of what I've seen, and she said, did you see any area where there could have been houses? And I'm like, no, I didn't. No, why? She goes, my uh, nan used to live in a house on uh, Marcus's Drive. So I did some investigation work. Now, if you look at this map now, guys, as you can clearly see, there are some buildings there, right? However, if you look at this map now, guys, there's no buildings there at all. As this is quite a big area to look through, guys, what I thought I'd start off with is that big building on the map and then work my way towards the right-hand side of the map. Whoa. This, what I'm stood on, guys, this has got to be concrete, like a huge concrete slab under all this. Look. You've got edge there. I'll bring you over here, I'll show you. There you go. Edge of it there. Edge there. Wow. So this, what we're stood on, guys, is that big building that we've seen on the map. Okay. So what's going down here? Whoa. Crikey, that's a bit of a step there, guys. Whoa, guys, speaking of steps, look at these. This, the steps is going all the way down there. So this must be like the side of the, the house here, and this must have been the way to get into it at one stage. How safe is this to walk down now? <laughs> wow. Okay. Ooh. Brick there. Right, I'm gonna try and get myself down on stair, guys. All right, yeah. just got off of that, and that was very, very scary because that was very slidey. But look at these bricks here, guys. Wow, you've got another, like, load. it's like layers and layers and layers of all this foliage that you can't really see what I can see here. But that there is the uh, foundation, and it looks like not much was going to hold it on this side. Just visualize this area here as being gardens of these houses. And now Mother Nature has reclaimed it back for herself. Absolutely so cool. Whoa, guys, we've got a hole there in the ground. But we also, up here, we've got some bricks here in this area there. Alrighty guys, I really want to get myself into this area here to see if I can get into that area there. As you can see here, we've got some bricks there. And a pile of bricks or something there. This must have been a smaller build compared to the other two big ones. Oh, lots of brambles everywhere. What the heck is this? What's this say here? No unauthorized persons beyond this point. Forestry Commission, England. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. Now, if you watch the uh, POW camp that I did on the uh, Flaxley uh, field, then you would understand a bit more about that. But there's literally, in these areas, holes amongst the floor of where, obviously, all the old drains used to go. Wait. Well, there's two of these things. There you go. You might be able to see this one a bit more clearer. You see that hole there? In the ground so I'm assuming guys the reason why they've been uh, cording off there is for uh, health and safety <laughs> let's commence looking for more builds where are we now oh this is kind of like a path behind everything all right what's this all about the ground here is very rocky see guys the thing is the ground is all uneven now that's got me questioning is all the area being literally scattered with all the bricks of everything that used to be there and obviously mother nature has decided to grow on top of it type of thing so that's why the ground is uneven well by looking at all of this guys i can't see any uh, bricks and stuff whoa what's this what is this whoa okay it is really, really brambly, but I really want to get in there. He easy does it up here, I suppose. Oh, wow. Got a wall there. There's a wall here. And this must be a wall that I'm standing on here. Got a wall going across there. Just look how big these rooms were. We're now on the other side of this build that we've just seen. And looking at the ground level to the build, that must have been so much more higher up. So we're going to come back sort of on ourselves in a sense because we were just over in that direction over there on that walk path and now we're over here and just look how big this area is okay dokies 
Right, so we've seen a few of the buildings that is on that map. Let's see what else we can find in this area here, guys. I'm sort of coming back on myself where I started, like on a diagonal sort of line here, so I can uh, survey the area a little bit better. Hang on, what's this? Now, you know I said that that other house over there was quite high up? Well, there's a mound of earth around here, guys, that's quite high up, so I got a funny feeling this might be another build. So I'm going to climb up here and see if I can see over all of this in hopes to be able to see what's under here. Well, there is a build here. Brick wall here goes across there. And it looks to me that used to be like room or something, or a couple of rooms there actually, because it actually goes right over to that corner there. What I'm going to try and do is get over there, guys, to show you a better perspective of this build. There you go. We're now on the other side. We were just over there and now we're over here and this is how big the build is. Absolutely amazing. But anyways, let's go to the next building. Oh, what we have here. That has got to be some sort of a, a foundation there, guys. And as you can see here, we have some bricks there. Right, let's see if I can get up there and uh, show you that area. And this one looks to be a little bit smaller than the ones we've seen already. But to give you a bit of perspective here, guys, this is the land and it goes up to the build, right? But then you look in, the build goes lower down. Was the build a lot lower than the ground level to help keep, you know, maybe a temperature so you keep your meats and stuff, you know, at a cold temperature? I'm not too sure, guys. Right, let's get down here so I can show you this area. Have a look at this. Right, as you can clearly see, that's a lot more, uh, it's not far off in line with my waist, this area here, right? It's definitely intriguing. This must have been some sort of a doorway at point, one point then. Well, I just looked at the maps, guys, and it actually looks like there's a few more builds that uh, are not on the map because I've just noticed an area that I'm like, well, what's over there? Just look at this area here, guys. It almost feels like something was here once. Because you've got bricks here. All underneath that tree, there's bricks. Oh, there's a, I just stood on a brick here. Oh, hang on, look, there we go. Just seen that at the last minute, guys, look. Just there. We have some bricks here, guys. So this must have been, like I said, this must have been a building here then. So what I thought was, I'm going to give this area a good look around and see if there's any other brick buildings or anything brick or concrete that we can see. I knew it. I knew there would be more stuff here than compared to what's on the map. Oh my God. We have another build here, guys. Now this one is definitely not on the map. Oh, I might be able to get through this area. Just look at all the bricks that there is here. Wow, this must have been some sort of a room here. And you go over here, you got this sort of a space in this area. Oh, hang on, you got another bit of a space here as well. Wow, okay. I've got this really strange, eerie feeling that I might be in somebody's like old house and this might be their kitchen or something. And it, uh, somebody lived here, and somebody had their life here and everything. It's a very strange feeling. All right, I'm going to see if I can find any more hidden buildings in this area. See, this ground here is a lot more higher up as well. Oh, we got bricks here. Oh, wow. This looks to be another build here, guys. Let's have a little look he's in here. Oh, this is going to be a lot easier. Oh, my God. Crikey. Look at this, guys. So you've got one room over there, guys, and you've got this room here. So this house here must have not been that big. Absolutely incredible there, guys. And what's even amazing, or I should say what's even fantastic, is the level of this ground over here is making me think there's something in that area there as well. Oh, we've got a brick there, guys. Wee bricks all under this tree here oh, wow. okay. uh -huh. this yeah there you can see it there where my finger is there there's a wall that goes all the way 
that current. So I wonder where that leads. Is it underground or is that it? But this must have been some sort of a building here as well. But this one is a lot more lower ground than the rest of them. You can see some bricks here in the ground there. Wow, okay. <gasps> Holy moly, look at this. Oh my God, we could get into this one properly, guys. Look at this. Look at all the brickwork on this one. Wow. All right, let's get up inside this one. Look at all of that. Wow. And these houses, I've realized, they've got the same sort of a layout, but look at the size of the, the rooms that would have been here. However, guys, I'm going to be looking around this area a little bit more and seeing what other things I can find because these two houses that I've just found are not even on the map. There's another bit of, a bit of a wall here. Not too sure the purpose of this wall here is. Oh, hang on, we've got some over here. Oh, we've got another bit of wall here. Wall here, hang on a minute. Just look at this land now, guys. i got a... Funny feeling, there used to be a build here because you've got these bricks here that come to the corner there, guys. So that looks like it went that way, and then this one goes that way. Wow, okay. Oh, what's this? There's some. Could this have been another foundation for a property here? All right, I'm gonna get myself up here and see what else we can find. All right, and now we're up here. Let's have a look what we can see up here. Oh, this looks to be the road that might have led you into this housing estate back in the day. I'm hoping I got this right. Because this is Marcus's Drive that I'm walking on now, guys. So back in the day, did you come off this road here and then turn and go in that area? So let's head back into the trees and see what else we can find. So we've got some... There's a building, there was a building here. I could see the foundation there. So guys, I'm definitely learning that these maps are not always 100% accurate because most of these buildings that I've been finding today, I looked at the map and I'm like, well, there's not even on there. So what's going on? So it just proves, like I already said, it's not always 100% accurate. Now, look at the size of this build area here. This is a big build, right? I'll show you. We've got some bricks here. This is a brick wall here, as you can see here, right? All the way along here, right? And then we've got some bricks here. I've got looks like a brick wall here going up that way. And you come over here, guys. We've got, looks like what was the remains of a house here as well. Because you've got the, the, the little walk path as I showed you before. And then you've got all the, uh, the wall going along there, there and there. Wow. Okay, let's see what other delightful sweet things we can see. Ooh. We're looking at this, guys. You've got like a wall here going there. So this, in fact, could have been a room that this tree has grown out of. What is this here? Look at this. This is another place, guys, because you've got a wall here. And we've got this slab of concrete just there, guys. Got a wall that is going there. So this was another property here, which is so far away from the uh, map that says all the properties are in that direction. But we got something here. What is that over there? Oh, I see what this is now. Right, it's basically a tree is falling down, and that's the the roots of it there. But if I show you closer, guys. I can't get to it, but we do have some little bricks and stuff inside there. And a lot of area there. I've just noticed some over here. Got some concrete slabs there. I've just noticed some more bricks here. So this could be another build. There you go. Got some bricks there. So this might have been another smallish build here. It's been amazing, guys, how much I've managed to see. Absolutely incredible. Right, what have we got here? 
Nothing as yet, but we're going to make our way this way and see what delightful things we can find. Well, that roadway that I pointed out to you is just over here, guys. So I'm going to try and stay on what was the old road, maybe, and see where this takes us. At that road that you can't see now, because one, the fog, and two, the trees in the way, would have came down this area. And maybe there might have been little smaller roads going off in that direction, or possibly this direction as well. Because I've just noticed there's another slab of concrete here, right, like a foundation there. And I'll show you there. Might be able to see it there on camera. That's sort of the edge there. And that's quite a big slab there. There might have been something built on that there. Which means, was there something built on this? Because looking how the ground is, that kind of looks like there might have been something there. But this area opens up quite big actually. And here we have another one of these fenced in areas here. Wow, okay. But just over here, guys, I don't know what's going on here, but we got a huge hole underneath this area here. So where are my fingers going? Across there, guys. Under all that, there's a hole. And looking over here, I've just noticed a few bricks and stuff as well. All I'm going to do is have a little bit more look in this area here, and then I'm going to make my way in that area there, see what we can find there. This looks intriguing over here. Not too sure, but there's this some sort of a, a ladder thing left here. Now what it could be, there could be a big hole here, it's been filled in, but the ladder might be attached to something underground, which is why it's been left there. Because that looks like a proper, what you would, you know, you stand on. I've got to be honest, it is hard to see, you know, through all this. Okay, that's interesting. I'm not going to carry on walking into this area, guys, because if you could see that sort of squared shape there, that's a bit weird what that's left like that. So I'm not too sure what is under there, because at the end of the day, there could be another uh, drain under there, and I'm not knowing about it. Anything else? Nah, it's just woodland now around here. All right, well, we're going to make our way this way, go back on ourselves a little bit. All right, this is where we uh, started not that long ago. There's the roadway coming in. We've looked in that direction. We've looked all over in this area here. And we've looked in the far distance there. But the area that I haven't really looked at is in this section here. So that's where we're going now. Ooh. That looks to be some sort of a hole there, guys. So you've got some brick that goes across there. And you can't really see the rest of it, though. But that's definitely a hole there. Oh, wow. This is quite a good viewing point. Right, let's see what we got here. I can't see anything in this area. Guys, look at that hole there. Wow, we've got one that's exposed. Wow. That is kind of scary because how close that tree is to that. Wow, it just shows that Mother Nature will take over everything. So we've got one hole here. So this must have been some of these back garden here then, in a sense, because this would have had a um, sort of metal cover to it. And that is the reason why you should watch where you're walking, guys. Absolutely cool. Right. They definitely have to be watching where we're walking now. Now, this is very interesting. How close can I get to show you this? Okay, I don't know if you can see this, right? But what we've got in this area here, we've got some sort of slabs that are going down in this area, sort of going down like that. And then we've got them at the side here. Right, if I get that to move down there, that in there, guys, is the drain there. So this might have been some sort of a, a treatment room or something, because this is quite big, because it goes along here, and also it goes up there as well. That's why that the um, bush is that high up. Because it's on the, there, just where I'm pointing there, is, there's some slabs. I'm wondering if I could get close to that. Now I'm near enough close. Over there, got a brick wall there. And that's that, and then we've got, there you go, a brick wall here. Oh my God, this is amazing. There's the brick wall there, guys. 
So it looks like this might have been an area where all the sewage might have came. Can I get there? Oh, right. Oh, that's a hole. There you go. It looks to be some sort of a walk path into it, or I don't know what that was for. But there you go. This is must have been something to do with sewage. All right, let's see what other things we can find then nearby. Uh, I can't see anything new because we've been in that entire area there, guys. We've also been in this area there and also now that area. So what I'm going to look at is in this section here. This is another property here. Hopefully you can see that because I can't get any further. But we've got some brick there, guys, in that area. Just there where I'm pointing looks to be a wall there, a brick wall. So that could be actually the entrance that was into this property here. Okay, Let's see if I can find any more of these beauties. Now, was that another one there? Or is that just an illusion? Let's have a look here at this. Oh, hang on, I can see brick, guys. This is in there. Wow, okay. Look at this one. The size of this. This is so cool. The thing that makes me sort of go down memory lane in a sense is the fact that people used to live in this area. So they made memories, they brought up their children. You know, there was grandparents probably, there was, you know, new mothers, new, you know, new fathers, you know. It's just all this history that is in this area that not many people would know about unless you lived here. But I gotta say, I really enjoyed my little adventure here today. It was so nice to see this area, but I wished I was able to go, well, that was uh, Yvonne's nan's house there, but as you can clearly see, there is no numbers and no doors. <laughs> well, unfortunately, this is where I'm gonna have to love and leave you for this adventure. I wanna say a huge thank you for coming by. It means the world to me. And always, guys, do your best to stay positive and screw all this negative. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, bye, bye. bye. bye.